गाइस व्हाट्स अप आई एम रोहित खुराना होस्ट एंड क्लिक डाइजेस्ट एंड दिस इज अ क्विक ओवरव्यू एंड अनबॉक्सिंग ऑफ द मोटो जी टर्बो एडिशन व्हिच इज द टर्बो एडिशन ऑफ द मोटो जी 3 लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद दिस वीडियो आई विल क्विकली स्टार्ट विद द बॉक्स कंटेंट्स एंड इन द बॉक्स द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट यू फाइंड इज द फोन इटसेल्फ it looks notoriously similar to the moto g3 and you would hardly find any difference when it comes to physical form factor it is exactly the same in terms of shape design as well as in weight the difference lies in the box contents where you get a turbo charger and there is difference under the hood as it gets a different chipset which is snapdragon 615 instead of the 410 the 615 comes with turbo charging support or fast charging support which charges this phone very quickly compared to the conventional Moto G3 you also get a pair of earphones which are very moderate in quality i would say under average at best if you want to hear good quality music i would suggest that you invest in a good pair of earphones and you buy them separately it supports standard 3.5 mm audio port so you can connect any of your favorite earphones or headphones that you like moving forward the back is removable but the battery is not The back gives you access to the SIM card slot as well as micro SD card slot. There are two SIM card slots. It accepts two micro SIM cards and a micro SD card for a memory expansion. It comes with 16 gigs of internal memory which can be expanded by adding a micro SD card to it. So you need not worry about storage. In terms of design and build this phone is very impressive and does not differ anything compared to the previous generation of Moto G3 that we have seen. The Moto G Turbo edition is actually based on the G3 only and also is IP67 certified just like the Moto G3 which means that it can stay under water up to a depth of 1 meter for 30 minutes and it will not be damaged. It's one of the most rugged phones that you can buy in this price category. At present it has been launched at 1499 which is an attractive price for a phone which is water resistant as well as dust resistant. It features a Gorilla Glass 3 at front which also adds up to the strength of the phone makes it scratch resistant besides being very tough as well. The display panel here on use is a 720p panel which comes with good quality display. Both the color as well as contrast levels are nice as well as viewing angles are also okay. It comes with good quality panel but it is not up to the mark if you compare it with the phones which come in 15000 price category. but we do not complain because the overall output and the feel of the display is good talking of audio quality there is a single front firing bottom speaker this grill that you see on the bottom is the speaker grill and is fairly loud it is among the louder phones in this price category next up cameras there is a 13 megapixel rear shooter and a 5 megapixel front facing shooter the pictures taken with the rear camera in outdoor conditions come out good but it's a different story when you take pictures indoors The pictures tend to be grainy when taken in low light and are not that impressive. The front facing camera though is good for 5 megapixel and is fairly wide angle and here are some samples playing on your screen right now. The video taken with the rear facing camera is also fairly stable and is of very good quality. Here is a video sample for you. Camera video sample of the Moto G Turbo taken handheld. You can see the stability and change in exposure when subjected to sudden light changes next up specifications and performance instead of snapdragon 410 it uses a snapdragon 615 which is better in moto g turbo edition although this chipset is notorious for heating issues and it does get warm more compared to the snapdragon 410 on the moto g3 in absolute terms it's a good chip and gives very good performance if you are a gamer you would certainly like the way it performs and the gaming performance is much improved we have done a separate gaming review and you can watch our video the links are provided in the description section as well as here on your screen the gaming performance is impressive the overall performance is also very good it comes with 2 gigs of ram snapdragon 615 octa core chipset and we are pleased with the way this phone performs even under heaviest of games and applications On the flip side it tends to get warm and easily reaches a temperature of around 40 degree centigrade. On software front this phone is fairly loaded when it comes to the software features it's fairly fast and snappy it supports some extra features which includes gestures like twisting or chopping to turn on the flashlight. Motorola is among the fastest when it comes to providing Android updates and Marshmallow is also expected very soon. Talking of battery it is one of the most important talking points here. It comes with exactly same battery capacity which is 2470 mAh that you get on Moto G3 but this one comes with a turbo charger which will charge your phone much faster compared to a conventional charging phone 
which means that you will have a quicker charge but on the flip side because of the snapdragon 615 chipset which is less efficient and more powerful compared to the snapdragon 410 chipset that you got on moto g3 the battery life has reduced by approximately 10 to 15 percent compared to the moto g3 but that provides you for more performance and more punch when it comes to overall feel of the phone in terms of value for money if you are looking for a phone with more performance where you want to play games and you need fast charging Moto G Turbo makes a lot of sense but if you are not someone who plays games and want a simple phone for day to day usage and do not want something and you do not need a phone which is intensive on performance you can still settle for Moto G3 get exact same features settle without the fast charging but with a longer battery life and for lesser money compared to the Moto G Turbo but if you are someone who needs performance Moto G Turbo it is for you this is all we have on this video. If you want to buy one for yourself, I'm leaving direct links in the description section below. If you enjoyed watching this video and this video helped you, give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button below. And for more such videos, stay subscribed by pressing the red subscribe button. I hope to see you on my next video. This is your host Rohit Kurana signing off. Thanks for watching.